Hey, 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 my name is Polishlinks, and let us continue Feathered Fables. This is Sparrow and Woodpecker, and of course we are going with English language. Long, long ago, there lived two sisters. The name of the elder one was Kitsutsuki. Kis... yeah, good, okay, I read it good. Or Woodpecker. And the younger one was Suzume, or Sparrow. The elder sister was selfish and avaricious, while the younger one was kind and a hard worker. One day they went to a big clothing shop. The master of the shop recommended that they make kimonos by themselves and so they bought white clothes. They worked hard on sewing the kimonos from the morning well into the night. When they were about to dye the clothes they received a letter saying that their fa father in their native home was very ill so they should return soon. The younger sister wanted to return at once. But the elder sister said she would never return until she finished a beautiful kimono for herself. So the younger sister decided to go back home alone. When she crossed the mountains and the rivers and their valleys, her white kimono became dirty. But at last she returned home while her father was still alive. Several days after her father died, the elder sister in a beautiful kimono came home. The younger sister, who watched her elder sister taking pride in her kimono, felt very sad. Then a voice called from somewhere. Kitsutsuki, you preferred a kimono to your father, so you can always wear that beautiful kimono. But you must eat only worms, picking the trees. Suzume, you are very kind to your father, your clothes will remain very dirty. But you can eat everything even the grains in the rice fields. As soon as the voice finished, they became a woodpecker and a sparrow. Now beautiful woodpeckers eat worms, picking the trees in the forest, while dirty sparrows eat everything in the fields. Wow, well, that was faster than I expected. But, well... Pretty good, I guess. I mean, putting family before looking beautiful is a good thing, let's face it. See you in the next game. Bye!